Hey guys, Music Elias here today and I'm back with another video. Now today's video we're going to be reacting to Hollywood Undead's Lion Eyes from their uh, newest album called Hotel California. Now this is the third song of theirs from the third last song of theirs from this album that I, uh, I'm going to be reacting to. So I'll be reacting to the last two tomorrow back to back because I just want to get this finished so I can you know react to um, I Prevail's newest album called True Power. So that's going to replace Hollywood Undead's one and once I finish that I will do a review on that. I will also do a review on this when I'm done with uh, you know reacting to the last two songs of Hollywood Undead. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Nerdvana Reactions for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I just checked her channel. She also has a channel, a reaction channel like mine. Obviously, it's in the name. Uh, she basically reacts to music like I do. So, if you guys want to go check her out and, you know, go subscribe to her, go check out uh, Nerdvana Reactions. So, yeah, let's get into this video. I heard you laugh as I was breaking. Said you love me, you were faking. did was try to help and all you ever did was give me hell i fell under your spell only looking out for yourself now it's time for you to go and ruin someone else you busy lusting said i'm good for nothing i know i'm good for something you're happy when i'm suffering smiled as i was struggling cause you always loved when the knife you used was shoved in now my life is crumbling cause i heard you laugh as i was breaking Already from the jump, I really like the song. Uh, I like his vocals in inside it. I like what he's like singing about and stuff. Like you know, people like looking down at him, disrespecting him, mistreating him. I think it's towards a specific person instead of uh, uh, you know multiple types of people. But yeah, I can see where he's coming from, and I really like the the song itself. I did hear from uh, Nicola. He said. Uh, he said that the last three songs are some of the top songs from this album, so I was excited when I heard that. I was like, you know what? I hope that these are like really good because I want to end this, uh, you know, this album off with really good songs and good reactions. So yeah, I'm really liking this one. Okay, yeah, now I get more. It's basically about a relationship he was with uh, with a girl, and she was basically pretending to like him and stuff, but was enjoying that when he was suffering and stuff, which that does happen a lot. There's a lot of people for some reason that, you know, I mean, there's, there's a reason you get why, but it's like a lot of people get into relationships and they, they're like usually some of the worst people and they just love using the other person. They don't care how much they hurt him. So I'm guessing in this song, he's talking about how they were hurting him and every time he was failing and stuff, they were laughing and, you know, having fun and enjoying it. And when I said lion eyes, I thought it meant like the eyes of a lion where it's like somebody that's more aggressive or, you know, hungry for something. But I guess they mean by, they use that as like, you know, as kind of like, I guess you can say a double entendre or more like a joke of your eyes, there's a liar behind it. So yeah, she's lying to him that she cares about him, but she's basically using him. And every time he's uh, struggling or suffering, she's enjoying it. It reminds me of, uh, sorry for that, but it reminds me of uh, Jada Pinkett Smith and how she treats Will Smith, how she pretends to like really love him and stuff. And throughout the media for years, people thought that they were a loving family, but then we find out that, you know, how she's treated him and stuff and how she basically looks at him. So I kind of feel like this fits perfectly with that scenario. That's like a perfect example for it. 
uh, like how she treats him and stuff. So yeah, I can definitely see where he's come from in this song. This song's more of like, uh, I guess, a relationship song than the other ones. So that was Hollywood Undead's Lion Eyes. Uh, I actually like the song. I like the message behind it. It was more personal about, you know, a relationship and dealing with somebody that pretend to love them, but use them and manipulate them. And this happens a lot to men and women out there where they get into a relationship with somebody who's a complete douchebag and they don't care about the other person. They use them. A lot of times they use manipulative tactics where they, they want to be in a relationship where they get everything and can do whatever they want in it, but their partner cannot and they put like barriers and boundaries for them, but not for themselves. So yeah, you see this a lot. And I think the, you know, the only, the only, you know, advice I could give anybody out there is always be more introspective on who you're dealing with. Don't just automatically jump in and say, oh yeah, they're great and this and that. Always take some time to be a, a bit of a skeptic, uh, you know, sit back and try to analyze the person you're dealing with. Sometimes, you know, even though they put up a good front, you can sometimes see through the cracks and figure out who they are as a person. So yeah, like a lot of, this is, this like has a lot of meaning to a lot of people nowadays because like I said, a lot of people who deal with this problem, they, you know, they, they have somebody that they like, think that they like them back, but they're just using them either for their money, their status, uh, maybe they're just desperate or, you know, for whatever reason. But I feel like, you know, the way, best way to avoid these situations is simply to be analyzing the person you're dealing with, especially if you're getting a relationship with them. Always look at them and try to see the good and the bad. Don't try to get too paranoid crazy, but analyze it. If you see red flags, don't try to like overlook it. Just remember, take it seriously. And if you see red flags, don't overlook it. Take it and you know move on. So yeah. Uh, this song has, I think, a lot of meaning to a lot of people out there. Uh, I do love, I do love when songs have more of a meaning behind it than you know other songs where it's just like fun and you can enjoy. It, but there's not that much meaning to it. So yeah, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction and uh, stay tuned for next time.